This is uh, Kevin Hall and we are starting a walk at the surprise view. So we're going to be doing a circular walk of about four miles and I will be doing some other videos on the way round but I'm just going to scan round a little bit just so you can see views sun's just come out and warming up a bit and we'll be setting off very shortly this is also another sign that's in the car park just before we set off the surprise view here is the idea is it's a lot of heather um, on this walk in the Peak District um, but because of the weather we've had um, with the lack of rain it's not as vibrant as it was last year evidently so it's a bit of a shame but looking forward to the walk so Sue and I will be setting off very shortly and we'll catch you again soon bye for now Hi everybody Kevin again we're on Heather Sage Moor and we're just heading towards um, Carl's Walk which I'm just about to pan round and onto now. And Carl's Walk is, uh, with the embankments and the cliffs, has been interpreted as an Iron Age fort, hill fort. Um, so you can see the, the, the stone wall built up there. So we're gonna head down that way now, and we are gonna it looks like a fairly easy climb, so we're going to head for that and climb to the top of Carl's Walk. But behind us, there is this huge cliff of rocks and boulders. But up there is a group of children which have got their hard hats on and they've got a guide and they're being led through all the nooks and crevices in the rocks giving them experience of, uh, of some sort of climbing or, or even some sort of potholing so that's you know to me that's an amazing thing to do because of getting the kids outside and away from their computer games and tv can't be much better than that can it so i'm just going to pan around a little bit more and show you that so we'll catch you soon bye for now we're now at the bottom of carl's park and i'm going to try a video walking up these steps and also keep an eye on where I'm walking so I don't want to take too long but I will do my best to keep this as steady as I can obviously I've got to try and pick my way up through these stones but also keeping an eye on where we're heading to so so far he says so good Up. so that is the stone wall so we're going to go round this way and you will get a glimpse of the views try and get up here without tripping or falling and here we are we're at the top of Carl's Walk just walking up a bit further made me a bit puffy getting up there it's absolutely beautiful walk up this way a bit further sorry if the camera's a bit shaky but I'm just on my Samsung 8 phone which is uh, not on a gimbal it's on the end of my arms in my hands so we're just going to walk up around here at least there's some decent fairly decent footpaths to walk on 
but you could see if I look over the edge and just pan around there you can see why this would make a very good Iron Age fort but we'll carry on up this way up onto two big stones and heading towards this rather magnificent stone right in the middle and as you can see there's lots of different stones that's been shaped by the wind and rain and they're all around us up here so I'm just panning around and away in the distance in that one direction you can see the slightly misty all around the hills but I'll come back around this way and go further around but to be honest this is uh, worth the time to come up here and film it so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to head up to this bit just up to this this well cliff face really and try not to walk off the edge because this is incredibly high so I'm gonna just pan down there and stand right on the edge I just hope a nice big gust of wind doesn't come along because that is what I'm looking at down there into the trees but you can see why this would make a fantastic hill fort Iron Age hill fort everyone this is Kevin again doing his last video from today's walk and the building you can say, see away in the distance is Longshore Estate and that was used um, as a hospital in World War One, but we're now on what is called the Sunken Trail and just going to drop down and I'm going to pan round but it's the same all the way through with heather and gorse and I'm just going to step over to the path, the other side of the path, oops excuse the shaky camera or phone so I'm just walking up now so I can try and get a, a final shot being attacked by some sort of insect so I'm going to step over so that you can see right up through the valley there and this is the the hidden trail or sunken trail which has taken us up to the a car park where we're where we're parked so I'm just going to come back around this way and step over the path because there is a bit of a dip so this is uh, Kevin and Sue from the Longshore Estate saying goodbye to everybody Bye. Bye. well folks we hope you enjoyed that walk if you did please uh, give the channel a, a thumbs up and a like and uh, do leave a comment and do consider subscribing to Kevin's channel hopefully that way you'll be able to enjoy one of his walks sometime in the future Thanks for watching and cheerio. Good boy.